Hi everybody, this is Shell from Shell's Designs, and I thought, hey, I'm part of the stamp club from the Stamps of Life, so why not show everybody what's inside and make a few cards? Um, yeah, so let's get started. Here we go. First, they give you a design card of three different samples of what you can make with the things that are inside this magical box. Um, they give you a stamp set that's little and it's cute and it has a bunch of sayings on it and some papers i really like this uh, pattern paper because it's more like cardstock than just flat paper and so you can use it for like if you're making a box or something it's sturdy got some epoxy stars um, some ribbons some cork buttons a die that says wonder and some corks. They're little, little tags. How cute are those? Some twine. And they always give you envelopes, which is awesome. And some cardstock. A little gift bag that I can put in my repertoire of things. Like. You can go to her website, which is stampsoflife.com and she'll go through this much more eloquently than me because I am just a crafter who thought, hey, you might like to see what kind of things you can make with a kit club if you are interested in starting. Let's get started on making some cards. I will take my paper. I am, again, not eloquent. I am just... A beginner really and I found this was awesome as a beginner because um, it kind of builds up your stock without going nuts in the craft store on not knowing what to get and it kind of gives you just all the things that you need to make a set of cards and so I just made a a two size card. This is where I don't have a clue what I'm doing, but let's just play. And so today I'm just going to use the things that came in this kit because I don't want to go into my own stock of stuff because if you were to get this kit, this is what you could make with it. I kind of like the idea of having arrows pointing towards like the entrance of the card because then it's like Look, fool, open the card over here. Anyways, I usually sing when I craft, so it's weird to talk and talk what I'm doing, or say what I'm doing, <laughs> talk what I'm doing. Wow, I'm really good at English. Um, that was four and a bit, so like that. And I know my length is that long, so I will go about there. And so then that should leave a nice border around like so. The only thing I did keep out of my own stock is of course my adhesive and my scissors. So everything else you should, oh and like my cutter and score pal. Is that what it's called? Score buddy. And like so. <laughs> A weirdo if you guys haven't figured this out yet and oh look how cute those are they've got little whales on them little starfish and sunshine skin um let's take a little piece of this And it's kind of funny still because it's like, I wonder, I wonder what's inside. Mm -hmm. I could 
cute. Wow, see, I'm not used to being on camera, so I'm so clumsy. And I'm slow. And that's okay. Scissors, and you did this is times too. All right, and then on the inside we can say thanks so much. It's my friends think I'm crazy, but every time I get a babysitter, I make them a thank you card, and that's just because gives me an excuse to play with my fun toys and it also breaks down on the awkwardness of just handing over cold hard cash to the babysitter for taking care of your children. I find that part awkward so I give it in a little thank you card and it cuts down on the awkwardness. Maybe not but I like to pretend it does. So thanks so much. That's cute. I like it. That one turned out really cute. Alright, card number one, finito. Next, let's do something bright. And we'll do the blue. There's my card base. And big sailboats, guys. We want big or little? I kind of like the little. The little isn't so in your face. Let's do little. And this time, let's switch things up and go this way. What? You guys are all like, you are crazy. You'd be crazy crafty lady. I'm like, you don't even know the half of it. I have three children under the age of five. All right. There's a little fun fact about me for you guys that you probably didn't care to know, but now you know and you can't not know it. Not me. Yes, I, that's how I measure. I'm very, very scientific in my measuring. So we'll go like that, but let's use some ribbon. Because ribbon is fun. Fun in the sun. I'm sorry. Like I said, I tend to sing when I craft, and you guys are now. Uh, Part of that. Okay, one of the things that I do like to use, I have um, this kind of adhesive. Don't ask me what it's called because I don't know. It's fun. Let's just call it fun adhesive. And what I like to do, oh, it's at the end of the roll. So that's good. Yay! Like that. And then pulls it over. And just so you know, I'm not throwing things on my floor. I have a recycle box right underneath me. <laughs> Maybe not right underneath me. Maybe my children's toys are right underneath me. That's really, really wide. That part doesn't matter because it just folds over. Okay. And then, okay. Well, maybe, just maybe. things around. Do I want to do... Those are cute, hey? Does that look cute to you guys? I kind of like it. Okay. Handy dandy glue dots. I use Zots for anybody who's interested in knowing products that I'm using. And that's where Mommy gets to have her playtime. On the inside, I think we should stamp something. 
What do you think? I'll ask you what you think. I'm not going to listen, but I'll ask you. Uh, let's do the birthday wish in there. Why not? Right? Where did my... Um, if you're wondering, I clean my stamps with baby wipes. like that. Put a star there. This kind of reminds me of um, like just the colors remind me of July 4th. And I'm in Canada so it's kind of weird. Anyways, I think that's good for that one. Um, let's move on to card numero two. two languages put together that was Spanish and French. <laughs> well, look at this. We know multilingual. Next color. I want to do craft color. And I want to use that dye because dyes are really fun. It is. Okay, so here we go. I know there's probably easier ways to make your card base, you know, like buy the card base, but I find it's pretty, pretty quick making my own. Um, okay, I said I wanted to do that wonder. Okay, I'm gonna do this one. Yeah, it comes with the shadow and the dye. And so this makes just a really nice background for it. And, okay, I'm just going to go to my um, die cut machine already that has the Sissix adhesive on the back. And so I, you can see I've used it a million gazillion times. By a million gazillion, I mean four. And I'm just going to put my die there. There's the shadow. And all right. Probably because you are finding my babble. So, I just kind of want to line it up. How cute is that? I'm going to say it's so cute. Hmm. How do I want to incorporate these? What do you think? I have an idea. Look at that. Okay, I kind of want to keep it on just like, just keep it to the basics, right? you on this idea. I say nay. Let's do ooh, stars. Stars are fun. Wonder. Wonder. How fun is that? And I feel like with these stars, since there's blue in the polka dots in the background, I 
Let's go three stars down the center. This card, I'm not really feeling it yet. I don't think there's anything else I can really add on to it. I just want to do like... Life is good underneath. Wonder life is good? No. Ooh, how about make a wish? And then it's just kind of like little and so cute on the side. Oh, okay. Well, that's what you get. You're supposed to stamp first onto like scratch paper once or twice and then stamp it because otherwise you kind of get like that bubbly look. It makes sense to have the birthday sitting inside. Hope your birthday was great as that. Whatever. I can't read right now. There we go. So that's card number three. I'm going to do two more. Should we just do like a white base card and then do some some fun layering? Who doesn't want to try fun things? I like trying fun things. I really have no idea what I'm doing, but it's fun. As long as you have fun doing crazy things. All right, card base check. This guy. And I think I'm going to use, yeah, I'll use this one. And we have some leftover wonder paper. And then I think I'm going to use gray in as my solid. Let's do this. We've got cutting board. We want like that. Okay. So we got layer one. You guys, I have no clue what I'm doing. But it's fun. This one. Like forge. And is that the piece you thought it was gonna use? Uh huh. Uh huh. Probably not. And the fun thing about these card kits is that you can just play. Like, you don't have to think. So I like that part of it. I don't know what I'm doing, just so you know. Okay. went ahead and cut out the die wonder once again. This time with teal paper that I had already put Sizzix adhesive on like prior to this. But this color is in is in the kit so you know use what you have right and then we'll do like that. What do you think? That's pretty I like that one. That's cute. I like that better. 
can see, then we have like the the wonder paper underneath. Okay, I'm just gonna go like this. You don't want to get um, adhesive on your secret weapon. It's just a pain to get it off. It's easier to get it off than I counter. That's pretty, I like it. Yay! And then on the inside, should we say life is good? Let's do it. Seasoned my stamp. So now it should stamp perfecto. Okay. <laughs> I just like to make sure that I am in the right way in my card because let's just say if you have a inside job on your card from me it's because I've messed up there we go that is good 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 <laughs> good all right so that's the card so it's wonder and then on the inside it's life is good for that one all right that's four cards down one more to go so what do I want to do let's this is three. Why not? And let's do this space. So from every card stock, you can get two cards. So easily make 24 cards from that kit alone. A little idea here. I'm going to go run that through. So I can save my shadow for another time. Let's do red. A couple reasons why. One, because I already have it. <laughs> I'd be a cheater. And so I'm just going to die cut that. going to do is I'm going to die cut this and then I'll cut it to match this. And again keep that for another time. Alright so here's the finished product. Sorry I was having technical difficulties so I just decided to finish this one off camera and then I will show you. So cut out the um, shadow dry and then put in the word Put on some twine and some stars, and then when you open it up, it says "Wonder Make a Wish." Mm -hmm. Here they all are in their magnificence. We have left in our kit. So we still have the die, which you can use for ever. Um, so epoxy stars. Still a lot of twine. Stamp set. There's scraps of um, pattern paper. And then we still have all this cardstock that we haven't used. And all this pattern paper that still hasn't been used. And then these um, storage envelopes are awesome for holding your cardstock. I've been in the club for just over two years, and so I use all my envelopes that I've gotten and I separate my colors of cardstock in a drawer. And yeah, give this video a thumbs up. If you like the craziness of the crafting room of shell designs and if you want a tour of the craft room, uh, subscribe. Or just subscribe in because hey, it's fun. Alright, we will talk to you craft crazies later. So I know you're all crazy if you're watching this video still because, wow. Anyways, okay. There you have it. Have a good night. Bye.